Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 2nd April 2023. The problem statement for today is Night in Greek in Geekland. This problem is based on dynamic programming matrix and BFS. Okay, so let's now open this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. Knight is at start x start y in Geekland, which is represented by an n cross m 2D matrix. Each cell in the matrix contains some points. In the ith step, the, the knight can collect all the points from all the cells that can be visited in exactly i steps without revisiting any cell. Also, knight has some magical power that enable him to fetch coins from the future. That is. If the knight can collect y coins in x step, then he can fetch all the coins he will collect in x plus y step. And if the knight can collect z coins in y step, then he can fetch all the coins that he will collect in y plus z step and so on without incre increasing the step count. That is. Knight will stay on the x step and he will get all the coins of the future steps mentioned above that is x plus y x plus y step coins plus y plus z, uh, z step coins and so on. So here we need to find the minimum number of steps required to collect the maximum points. In note it has been given that the knight moves exactly the same as the knight of a chessboard which, which follows the zero with indexing. So some link is given here. Let me try open it. Okay, so here it is explaining about what is knight here. So actually, um, as we all know, uh, the knight what we call in Hindi that is called ghora in chess. So how it exactly moves? Moves it exactly moves in uh, two step in one direction, then either left or right. We in Hindi we call it dhai chal. So here, if you see, this is the current location. So here from here it can move to two location upward and one right and here also from this one up upward two right and through this one also if we two right and one upward and one downward so either of this lo location that means two step in one direction then one either left or right i hope this is clear this is dhai child one two and something half it is not exactly half yeah exactly three but exactly it is called as dhai only in Hindi Dhai Chal, Ghore Ki Dhai Chal, something like that. Okay, so um, this way, uh, this way exactly it works. So here also it is given something, uh, is some indexing, some numbers it is saying, the minimum number for attacking this one, something else. Yeah, but this is that um, link that has been given in the problem statement. So I hope you, now it is clear that what is night and how it moves. Okay, so let me open and close this and let me open that again problem statement yeah so this was given here so here um, the problem is asking to find the minimum number of steps required for a knight at a given starting position to collect the maximum number of points from a 2d matrix of size n cross m where each cell of the matrix contains some points the knight can only visit a cell in exactly i steps without revisiting any cells the knight has magical power that enable him to fetch coins from the future that is, the knight can collect y coins in x step. He can fetch all the coins that he will collect in x plus y step and so on. Okay, so this was the problem statement. So let's go through and understand, uh, let's go through the given examples and understand, understand it in a better way. With both these examples, it will be very clear that what has been asked in the problem. Okay, so here it is given that n cross m, it is 9 into 10. So 9 into 10, this um, size of the matrix. An initial position of um, the knight is at x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 5. So which is highlighted here. We in this yellow color. Background highlighted as yellow color. And this is in bold also. So here, um, here it is saying that output is 1. And some numbers has been given in here, red and green. So we will understand uh, them in a while. So here the explanation says, the minimum knight have to take one step to gain maximum point. And how is that one step? Initially, knight has zero coins. So that's why um, 
see here one thing to take care is that if he has zero coins th so in that time he will not be able to use his magical powers he will be able to use his magical powers if he has some some coins in with him that means if he if he has some coins so if he get some coin in uh, y in x step so in next step he can use that but if he has doesn't have then he has to make one movement okay so initially um initially the, uh, the knight has zero coins so he will take one step to collect one point so from here from starting point at this zero so what all position knight can move so here it can move in all eight combinations that means the um, the one which we have seen in that um, wikipedia link of uh, that uh, knight so here it can say here also all the red one from this position of uh, knight which is there in yellow highlighted here in yellow it can move to all the red position here again the same way one two and right here two down either left or right two steps here then here two steps here and one step down similarly two steps to the right one step up two step up one step right one step left two steps left one step up one step down so for a horse or for a knight in a chess board uh, if it it is in at current this position so it can move to all these combinations so here if you can see summing up all this thing that means um, uh, summing up all the combinations which the knight can move we are seeing that we are getting just only one point we are getting only one point that means he, that's why it is saying he will collect one step to collect one point sum of the cells denoted in red color in the next step he can collect the points from the cells of the green okay so if you see that means when the knight is at any of these eight positions marked in red then you can see it can visit to all the places that has been marked in green so from this one it can move to this this two and this two then here two steps yeah it can move to this one uh, so if you see so we see this one then it can move to this one it can move to this one it can move to this one and this one so again the following the same thing that means what has been marked in green that are all the places that can be visited if the knight is at any of the position that has been marked in red so all the possible combinations so if all those possible combinations we are getting then we are seeing that in second step he can collect points of all the cells colored in green that is 64 if you add all of them then it will, it will be 64 but with his magical power at the first step he can fetch the points from the i plus 1 step how it is y plus, uh, sorry 1 plus 1 step how it is this one so he has uh, he, he is at this, this position he is at the ith position and he is getting the, that uh, i coin that means uh, in the first step so that's why he can move to all of those all of those the subsequent uh, steps and he can fetch all of them so here again i'll go through it again but with his magical power at the first step he can fetch the points from one plus one step that means the second step therefore he can collect one plus 64 coins in one step only okay initially for the first step he will just get one coin but after that uh, since he has got one coin so now he'll be he'll be able to move to um, uh, all 64 points without actually making a move with his magical power so we will get it here so if, actually if you see it then what we are doing from one place we are moving to the next possible combinations and from all of those possible combinations we are again iterating it to the next possible combinations okay so just keep in mind the, the um this approach that what I, what i have just explained right now so let's go to the second example here it is said n is equal to 3 m is equal to 3 and um, the knight is at x position 2 and y position 1 and given array is this one so here the output is 0 that means he does not have to take any step because the initially the knight has two points or more formally we can say that in zeroth step the knight has two points in the first step he can collect points from cell 0 0 and 0 2 so if um, knight is at this position this position this one so what all um, 
so what will cell it can visit it can visit one two and left one two and right so it can visit seven and eight so that's why and if when we add them seven and eight we get 15 so that has been mentioned here in the first step he he can move to from 2 1 to 0 0 and 0 2 so we'll get total 15 in the second steps he can collect the points from 1 0 that means if we are at this position and this position so what are places it can visit it can visit this one this and this okay so in the second step he can collect the uh, the points from 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 2 so it will give 13 here in the third step see here also when we are at both these places again possible combination will be it can move back to 2 as well because here also if you see downward 1 2 and right so bishop no, sorry the knight can move from 7 to this location 2 as well but since 2 has already been visited that's why we are not considering them it is already consider only considering these two location um, this 4 and this 9 that is uh, 1 0 and 1 2 2 1 is not considered because it, is, it has already been visited I hope this is clear so in the second step he will collect all together 13 coins in the third step he can collect the points from 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 2 so now in the second step the, the knight position is this and this so here it can either go to this and or to this so here it will it will collect 6 plus 8 that is 14 14 points okay so um, and in the fourth step from this two location it can already go to six six uh, this one this position where the value is six so here in the fourth step he can collect the points from zero one cell that is six points so in each step he can collect the coins like you can see in the image below the knight can collect 15 coins in the zeroth step only how is that zero step see initially at the zero step only he has got two points so and using his magical power he can reach the the future step if he has some some points with him okay so while being at zero position only he can add that to his current location that means uh, that zero position only and he can reach to the next uh, iteration so that's why he it is trying to reach from zero we add two points which he already has and he will he tries to fetch the future cell values so zero plus two which is will give uh, this one Add, adding the value at 0th index and 2nd index it becomes 2 plus 13 is equal to 15 so being at 0th position only we are able to fetch this 13th one see if the array would have been much bigger then in the next step we, uh, we would be looking something at 0 plus 2 plus 15 that means uh, 17th step one 2 plus 15 but, uh, but that array is not that big so here we are getting this one so here we can see uh, while being while without taking any step we are able to get the maximum that is if you see the entire array 15 only is the maximum and we are able to get it at zero steps so that's why uh, it is said that it has no it without taking any step we are getting the uh, maximum value that's why the output here is zero because uh, here the future power and that means the power the magical power to get future points that has been taken into consideration okay so i hope both these examples are very clear to you so here to solve this problem uh, what we can see uh, what we can use we can use bfs approach to find all the cells that the knight can visit in exactly one in exactly i steps without revisiting any cells we will then we will then maintain an array uh, that we will call at points of size uh, 1001 since the maximum number of coins that a cell can have is zero uh, is 1000 so here we can see some constraint is has been given that maximum value it can be 1000 only so the maximum number of points that a cell can have is 1000 only and we will use this uh, this array points to store the total number of points that knight can collect in exactly i steps without revisiting any cell we will then iterate over the points array and calculate the total number of points that the knight can collect if he starts collecting the coins from i steps and uses his magical power to fetch all the coins that he will collect in the future steps so we will then find the minimum value of i 
for which the knight can collect the maximum number of points i hope this is clear so while going through the first example um, i just told to remember one thing that um, from this zero position it can reach all the combination of red ones and from each combination of red one it can reach all the green ones so what exactly we are doing here we are just trying to find all the possible combination of widgets and we are storing them and from for each cell widget we are again finding the next possible combination so here we are using the bfs approach then is from each cell we try to find all combination then we will visit one by one and finding the future combinations so that's why we will be using bfs for this okay so uh this is in java so let's start our coding for that yeah so i have already prepared a solution just to save time in typing let me copy it here i'll explain it um, first i'll explain the complete logic then i'll explain it line by line with the algorithm so let me first replace this so here also i have tried adding comments against each line so that it becomes self explanatory so what um, we will do here uh, so as i have told the solution uses the bfs approach to traverse the given 2d array which has been given here and starting from the starting position of a knight on a, on the chessboard the bfs traversal is performed in levels or steps where each level represents the minimum number of moves required for the knight to reach a, that cell from the starting position we will maintain a queue data structure to store <coughs> sorry uh, to store the current set of positions to visit and the visited boolean array to keep a track of the already visited cell okay so um here we are using um one here we are using actually uh, two integer 1d array that is called dx and dy to represent the possible movement of the knight each element in dx and dy represent the horizontal and the vertical movement so here you can see dx first one value is minus 1 and dy is minus 2 so what exactly it means can i open it here in separate tab yeah okay so here it is minus 1 and minus 2 if we look at the axis here so minus 1 means towards the left uh, towards the left if i try to um, draw this one um, can was so suppose this is our axis here so here this is this is x and this is y so here at any position suppose if i if uh, the current position is this one is this one then minus 1 means this direction and minus here minus when the x axis it will become towards the left and minus y in the y direction it becomes towards the down so towards the down so what it takes here if it look at this position then it is the actual movement which the uh, knight is moving on the chessboard that means from one step this one this one one step to the left two step to the down or two step to the down or one step left so all these possible eight combinations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all these possible directions that has been marked using dx and dy array okay so here it is both down a uh, down and left then here it is again two and left that means here it is first left then down then then here it is two down uh, two left and one down that means here this one this one first we took this one one left two down here it is two left one down okay similarly for the positive side also it will be say like um, towards the right side one down towards the right side one up and all these things here also everything so all the possible eight combinations that has been taken here okay that is represented by dx and dy so after initializing the starting position and the other required variables the code will start with the bfs traversal by looping through the queue until it becomes empty in each iteration of the loop the co the code dequeues the first cell of the queue and for each possible movement of the knight the code computes new coordinates so what we are doing we are taking um, that means the current position of the of the knight that we are dequeuing from the queue that will come as current 
we are extracting x and y position from that one and the value at the corresponding x and y position that we are adding it to points in the points array at uh, indicator by that st index step and from that location we will look at all possible combinations of uh, the directions and we keep on adding to x and y and we try to find the uh, try to find the different combinations i hope this is clear so um, where i was huh? so in each iteration of the loop the code decues the first cell from the queue and for each possible movement of the code uh, of the night night the code computes the new coordinates and checks if the cell is valid unvisited and marks it as visited and enqueues it to the queue so after getting the current x and current y we are seeing whether if it is valid valid means current x should not be less than 0 y should not be less than 0 it should not be greater than the size of the array for both x and y and that cell should not be visited that means um, yeah if all these conditions uh, are uh, satisfied that means that is not valid so if it is already visited then we are simply continuing with this one that means we are not marking it a visit or we are not adding it to this one but if uh, these conditions are not uh, um, not correct that means it's it uh, that means the new coordinates are valid and within the range of the matrix then what we do then we uh, mark it as visited and a, and enqueues it to the queue that means we add that all that individual current one to the queue for each in each direction i hope uh, this is clear so during the uh, bfs traversal the code accumulates the points of, for each step of the traversal into the point into the array that is called points where each element of the array represents the point accum accumulated at the level of the traversal that ever we have seen here so after that BFS, bfs traversal is done then what we do then we loop through the points array and calculate the total points collected for every jump of i positions it will then update the points array with the total points collected for each jump finally the uh, code will return the index answer uh, yeah the code returns the index answer with the maximum value of the points array so okay so here um, we are uh, attempting through, uh, through all the possible combinations and we see that um, where the maximum value is there first we have initialized to the minimum one so maximum value is there so that only we uh, add it to that one and we update each time the index position of i to the answer and what will be the maximum value so that we will get uh, we will return it as the answer at the last step okay so this was uh, the overall explanation of the this one so if you look at that uh, step by step co coding that i have already explained but if something is missed out then you can just in see it line by line again that initialize the 2d array um, where is that yeah uh, so here we are initializing um, a, a, a boolean 2d array to keep track of the visited cell and and q to perform bfs add that starting position that is given by start x and start y to the queue and mark it as a visited in the boolean array this one we are marking it as already as visited then while the queue is not empty perform the following operation that is getting the first element from the queue add the points at the current position to the corresponding level in the array that we are calling at points in this one uh, here this one then traverse through all uh, traverse through all eight possible moves for the night and add the new position to the queue if they are valid and not visited that means this conditional range is there then what we do after this increment the level then once all these steps are done in this while loop then we create a loop to iterate through all possible jumps from 0 to 1000 and calculate the total points collected for every jump okay then update the points array with the total points collected and check if the points collected is greater than the current maximum and update the maximum value and return the answer accordingly so i hope this uh, this explanation is clear that how we are approaching to that solution so okay so that's all in this coding part so let's try compiling this code So here, um, uh, while this code is getting compiled, so we, we can have one question that why, what is the relevance of 1000 here? That means though it is given there on the, on the question, so how exactly is that one? 
सो हियर दाउजेंड इज यूज एज द अपर लिमिट फॉर द नंबर ऑफ जम्प्स फॉर द नाइट कैन मेक द लिमिट इज टू सेट द लिमिट इज टू सेट टू अवॉइड एन इनफाइट लूप इन द वाइल लूप दैट कैलकुलेट द टोटल पॉइंट कलेक्टेड फॉर एवरी जम्प ऑफ आई पोजिशन द लूप आई ट्रेस थ्रू द पॉइंट आई रे स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द करेंट लेवल आई एंड एड्स टू द पॉइंट एट ईच जम्प इफ द पॉइंट एट अ पर्टिकुलर लेवल आर जीरो देन द लूप टर्मिनेटेड टू अवॉइड फॉर द आई ट्रेशन ओके सो बाय सेटिंग द लिमिट टू हंड्रेड दल गोर दिन द लूप टर्मिनेट विद रीजनेबल फ्रेम ऑफ टाइम इन रीजनेबल टाइम फ्रेम ओके सो वी कैन सी हियर वी हैव गॉट करेक्ट आउटपुट लेट्स ट्राई सबमिटिंग द सोल्यूशन so here we can see um, it has passed all the test cases so this problem has been solved successfully so talking about talking about the time complexity of the solution it is it is in the order of b go of n into m plus p log p where n and m are the dimensions of the input array and p is the total number of valid night moves possible from the starting cell when you talk about the first part of the algorithm that means first part of the solution where the bfs traversal is performed it takes big o of n m plus p time this is because each cell in each uh, yeah each cell in the array is visited once and the total number of night moves possible from the starting cell is at most eight times the number of cells of the array which is big o of n m since each valid move is added to the queue at, at most once so the total number of element to be added to the queue is also big o of n m plus uh, um, big o of o m plus p the second part of, of the algorithm where we are calculating that the maximum score so it takes uh, big o of p log p time this is because the points array has the length of 1001 um, which is at a constant value and, and the while loop inside the loop runs at most log p times for each iteration of the loop where p is the maximum number of jumps possible for the from the starting cell therefore the total time complexity for this part is p log p so the overall time complexity of the complete solution including bfs uh, traversal and uh, computing the maximum points is uh, big o of n m plus p only okay so this was the java solution of it uh, so let's uh, see the c++ solution for the corresponding one so even that i have prepared in this solution also i have tried adding the comments here so that it becomes easy to understand so here also we have done the same thing no difference at all uh, so here also we have first initialized the direction initialized all the queue boolean visited all the things and we are performing the same operation bfs performance first then after that we are calculating the maximum points okay so i hope this is this is also clear so yeah so you can see the code here uh, i'll just scroll line by line the same thing exactly the same point has been done anyway i'll be i'll be providing this uh, the code in the description box please do check that okay so let's try compiling this code with c++ ओके ओके एक्चुअली आई हैड कॉपीड दैट मेथड टू आई सीयर आई हैड टू रिप्लेस दैट बिकॉज आई हैव रिटर्न समथिंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट ऑल्सो लेट्स ट्राई कंपेलिंग दिस वन सो एक्चुअली टू मेथड सिग्नेचर वॉज देयर या सो वी कैन सी वी हैव गॉट करेक्ट आउटपुट इवन फॉर द सी प्लस प्लस कोड लेट्स ट्राई सबमिटिंग दिस सोल्यूशन so even for c++ solution we have uh, got all the test cases passed so uh, yeah so using both the language this problem has been solved successfully okay so if you have any doubt related to either of the solutions you can just comment on this video so that's all in this video please like comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching